Okay, question 10. Here are a quadrilateral. Okay, this one's the quadrilateral. Uh, it's four-sided shape and a triangle. Here's the triangle. And it's on a centimeter grid. Write down the special name for quadrilateral A. Well, looking at that, we have uh, those two sides are parallel. And similarly, the other two sides are parallel. So a four-sided shape with two parallel sides is called a parallelogram. Parallelogram. Okay, write down the special name for triangle B. Well, just going to take a tiny moment to show you the triangles that you need to know the names of, um, and we'll see which one it is. You need to know the name of that type of triangle. You need to know the name of something like that. You need to know the name of something like that. And you need to know the name of... Uh, something like that. Okay. So I'm going to tell you the names of each of these and you're going to see which one it is. So this one here is a right angle triangle. It's got to 90 degrees. This one here is supposed to have all the sides the same and that's called an equilateral. This one's supposed to have two sides the same and the other not and that's called an isosceles. isosceles. And this one's supposed to have three sides that are all different and that's called a scalene triangle. Now, which one is triangle B? Well, I think you can see pretty clearly that these two sides are the same. You could count it, you can see it, I mean, because there's four along the base and it goes up one, two, three, four, five, and it's exactly the same distance. So, the, so these two sides must be the same, so therefore it is an isosceles triangle. It has two sides the same and the other not. Find the area of the quadrilateral A. Now, um, there are a couple of ways to do it. Either you know the formula for an area of a quadrilateral, uh, which is base times height, which would be th base times perpendicular height, by the way, which would be 3 across multiplied by 2 up, which would be 6 centimetres squared. 3 multiplied by 2 is 6 centimetres squared. The other way of doing it is to be a bit clever about it. If you can't remember your formula, I'm just going to rub this stuff out here. Because it's a parallelogram, you see this, this part here. If I was to take that, right, cut that off, and I'll stick it on the end, like that, and consider that shape, right, and ignore the bit, you, you know what I mean, consider this shape here, well that's a rectangle, and I can count the squares, one, two, three, four, five, six, six what? It's on a centimetre grid, six square centimetres or six centimetres squared, and that's the other way of getting the answer.